Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get notified whenever I do more of these tutorials. Let's get into how to add Dexper to OBS. Hello everyone, I recently got a question here on my YouTube video. It says, so can you do a video on what it looks like in your OBS? I have everything set up, but it doesn't work. So there are some things to think about when you do this. First of all, make sure that Dixper is fully installed, of course. Uh, I just recently reinstalled my Dixper just to make this, like, from the start, you know. Uh, so I'm just gonna check that, and I'm on one PC, and let's just choose uh, Fortnite. It's popular and has a lot of crates. So, the first thing you gotta make sure you do is, I'm gonna actually turn Dixper off first, because I really want to show you how this works. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to right click and you're going to right click. Go into properties and make sure you're always running Dexper as an admin. Always run this as an administrator. It is of utmost importance. And then, as soon as Dexper is on, you always got to make sure you press this start button. Choose if you're chatting or gaming. I chose a Fortnite thing, so I'm going to choose I'm gaming. In order to use Dixper Gaming, you have to configure your streaming tool. To do this, follow these steps. Next, open OBS and choose Game Capture. So I can do, you have to choose Game Capture in your scene and give the source a name. Uh, so here it's Dixper just chatting. Select mode, capture specific window. Select the window named Dixper Engine, Dixper Host Window, OBS Skills. So, if we go back into my uh, my empty OBS here, and I'll just add a new source, and that was the game capture, as they said. Let's name it Dixper Game. And specific window, choose the Dixper host window OBS skills. Press OK. It's gonna be black for now. Check the box, allow transparency, and capture third party overlays, such as Steam. And that you do by double-clicking this Allow Transparency Capture third-party overlays such as Steam. There we go. Now it's set up. And then you finish it. And then, of course, we are going to go into the widgets. And we are going to go into the uh, alerts here. Uh, this is the alert that pops up whenever somebody uses a skill. And this works as a browser source, so I'm just going to copy that. Go into my empty scene here again and do Dixper. I can just name it Alerts. I always choose with a C because that way I'm not going to uh, like randomly replace an old thing or something. 1920 by 1080, of course. And now, if I choose to test one of my alerts here in... Uh, in Dixper, if, if I choose to have, if I, if I choose a skill, so to speak, if I choose a skill, so I can like go into the Fortnite collection and let's just, you know, bleh, do a uh, skill here. S send blood that covers the entire screen. You saw that blood. You, I, I hope you really did see that blood. And if you didn't, then, well, you're blind, because I clearly saw it on both my main screen and how it showed up on my recording screen. So that's pretty much what you have to do. And if you have any more problems with this, just tell me. Okay, guys, thanks for watching today. And remember that when you put all this stuff into this new empty scene, put that scene where you put it into the scenes where you want Dixper to show up. So, for example, I have it in my in-game scene, but I don't have it in my chatting scene or in my starting soon scene. You know, those kind of scenes. I only have it in my gaming scene because that's the only place I want to show up. So, that's how you do it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell. And we will see each other in my next video. Cheers. Have a great day.